Alley Wentworth. Right. You never quite know what Alley Wentworth is going to say next, do you, huh? Which, when you think about it, is exactly what you want from the host of a morning TV show. Someone who can jolt you out of bed, leave you wondering in your sleepy haze. Did she just say that? Ally Wentworth will co-host a show called Living It Up with Allie and Jack beginning this fall. She's already livened up her mornings this week by duking it out in the gossip columns over a few things written about her husband and who has his, who has his own talk show, in case you didn't know, George Stephanopoulos, and Allie joins us. Now, it is very nice to see you again. I haven't seen you for a long time. It's nice to see you, Anderson. We were once on a morning show together. I can't we even were. remember how long ago it was. A year ago. <laughs> I think I was just pregnant and vomiting, and now I'm back and I've had the baby. Yes. And your career has served, oh, well, my friend. You know, anyway, well, but we won't talk about me. It's about you now. Oh, please. Well, first of all, oh, so you're doing this morning show. Yes. Uh, how, it's starting this September 15th. All right, all right, plug away. No, I'm not plugging all it. Right. I just don't want people to tune in tomorrow morning and say that girl's a compulsive liar. Uh -huh. It launches September 15th. Uh, this is like a major launch. I mean, this is like there's big money riding on this. There's a huge company behind oh, it. I haven't seen any coin, but yes, they're spending <laughs> okay. a lot of money on the publicity. How is, I mean, are you under a lot of pressure? Um, not till you start asking me these questions. Uh -huh. No, but putting no, together a, ma a major show like this is, uh, it's got to be a lot of It's it. exciting, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's great to have your own show, and it's great to have the best people in the business behind it. And um, How do you put together a show like this? Because I'm, I'm putting together my own little show here you? at CNN, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. In your living room? <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's very hard, I mean, getting people putting together. You know, you yeah. see it on TV, you think, ah, it's no big whoop. But it's actually a hard thing, assembling. It's really it. hard. I mean, you know, King World, they were incredibly smart because they went out to all the markets and did the research first and said what do you guys need you know what are you missing in your time slots as opposed to taking a big star and just saying you know here's right. a show so they said we're missing someone named Allie it's funny enough they did uh -huh. um, no they said you know we want a male female driven you know daytime talk show that's very entertaining and um, you know like 150 girls passed, and I, they finally called me. You, you call them girls? <laughs> women. Okay. Professional women. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, they knew what, what was needed out there. Right. And then um, I actually went in and met with King World, and I was eight months pregnant, and I thought, if they're looking for the second legged blonde, <laughs> it's uh -huh. not going to be the Seymour so no, so shooting you're, you're, up the stairs. This thing launches September 15th. 15th right. Uh, anyway, you're going to be interviewing celebrities. You're going to be We're going to do the whole thing. We're going to come out. We're going to do host chat. We're going to talk about... You know, some news, but uh -huh. not kind of CNN news. Uh -huh. You can do. How do you build chemistry? Because I mean, that's the big thing on all these shows. You There's got to be chemistry. You can't. And the it's kind of thing that's happening right intangible. now. I mean, this is like the energy. You could, you could print the money. It just creates itself. If we were itself. together, you could print the yes, money. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. <laughs> so you can't. I mean, either you have chemistry. It either or you works don't. or doesn't. Yeah. And and that's that's what makes it so risky for all these companies. I mean, they're they're gambling yes. huge sums of money. Yes. And do you do you try out in advance? Yes, to see I, if was, I was to have paired lunch? with people okay. to have a lunch. And we took a weekend in the Bahamas, <laughs> hey, whoever I, I liked know. when I got back. No, we were paired with different people. And, okay. you know, some people, it was just, uh, that would be the most obnoxious show in the world, me and him. So when I knew you, you were like, uh, you, were, you were a celebrity. But now you're like a major syndicated huge celebrity. And you're in the gossip columns now. Yes. I read in the gossip columns. Yes, I've read about you occasionally in the gossip columns myself. <laughs> but, but you're far more interesting than the gossip columns. They, they, they're saying that there's like divisions between you and, and your husband, George Stephanopoulos, and then you have to respond in another gossip column. Why respond? You know, there's two reasons I responded, and I learned my lesson. You, you I will not comment on my personal okay. life. <laughs> you responded. It, it, the thing was in I don't know when. I some New York, You responded with the Washington humor. Post. I responded right. with humor. Yeah, it was a good and response. And as, as somebody with a comedy background, that is usually our kind of mantra for the best mm. um, comeback to anything. Track, if you will. Oh, merci beaucoup. <laughs> so you know, you sort of hit everything with comedy, but I guess the a lot of the gossip columnists don't have a great sense of humor, <laughs> or they do, you know, uh, and then you just sort of you know let it lie. So, but, but so your strategy now would I mean because in some ways there's the argument always that it just extenuates the story by commenting and then it all adds it another does. run. It does, but. Um, you know, I mean, it also becomes a little laborious after a while. I mean, right. you know, how long can me and Page Six go, woohoo, your turn? <laughs> um, but basically, the only thing it said was that George and I have a 10 month old baby. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I w Go ahead, open that closet, because I'll open yours, my friend. I'll open yours. Oh, there's many skeletons in mine, I'll I tell know. you. Um, so, so what, like the show starts, and how do you yes. prepare for it? I mean, how do you? Wh are you doing research now? What do you? What do you do? Well, you, you know, we have great, great, great um, segment producers, and so we kind of see what's in the news. Again, not mm -hmm. like Middle East, you know, right. SARS news, right, right, but okay. you know, a woman who's still breastfeeding her kid at, and he's eight years old, okay. and we kind of, you know, what? find. 
Yes, there's a woman. It was this big controversy. She was still breastfeeding her kid at eight, uh -huh. and so we were. I'd tune in to watch that. Yes, I would. Well, how are you doing with that, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> You know, so anyway, we would talk about, you know, is it, you know, some women think it's a great idea. Some women uh. think it's a little, you know, I don't know, when, you're, when your son comes home from Yale with his lacrosse stick and you whip out your Ted, you know, that things are in trouble. But I don't think we, anyway, we're going to leave it right there. We're not ending on no, that. We're, we're ending on that. Ali Wentworth, thanks very much. Good luck. Thank you. Good night, everyone. That's Newsnight for this week. Aaron returns on Monday, and you'll be glad to know. We'll be right back. <laughs>